Let me give you a guided tour of the rock layers that are visible from this wonderful vantage point, starting at river level and going all the way up to the rim. What I want to point out is that every one of these rock layers was deposited sequentially, one on top of the other. So what that implies is that the rocks at the bottom are the oldest and the rocks at the top are the youngest. So starting at river level, down in the bend of the river there, you'll see there's some vegetation and there's kind of a slope with some rocks just barely visible. That's the Bright Angel Shale. Above that, you see some uh, grayish and brownish layers. There's partly uh, cliffs and partly slopes that extend up to the base of the first big prominent cliff. That's the Muav Limestone. Then that very big prominent red cliff that extends above that, that is the Redwall Limestone. Above the red wall, we see another slope, but this slope is composed of, of alternating layers, basically a lot of thin and thick layers stacked together, mostly red in color, a few of them white, with uh, several of the layers at the top, several of the beds at the top being thicker. That's referred to as the Supai group. Now, the Supai group is also subdivided into four formations. Above the Supai group, we see a, another slope. We see kind of a grayish slope. It's gray because it's covered with talus, but broken rock but in a few places we can see some red peeking through. That's the actual color of the rock under that. That's the Hermit Formation, and the Hermit Formation is very soft, so when it erodes it forms these slopes. Then above the Hermit Formation we have another very big prominent cliff. That's the Coconino Sandstone. At the top of the Coconino Sandstone, which is just a little bit visible here and visible a little bit better as we go down canyon, we see some more thin beds again, sort of stacks of, of, of multiple thin beds. That is the Toro Weep Formation. And then we can't see it quite from here, but if we look a little farther down canyon, we can see at the very top of the rim, there's another uh, bed of white rock. That is the Kaibab limestone. 